Okay, normally I start talking once I've actually got on the horse, but sometimes Yogi can be a little bit naughty when I first get on him, so I've got to have my hands um, free to pay attention to him. So anyway, good morning Yogi, say hi Yogi. So, pardon me whilst I fiddle around and get on, get my whip. And pardon me if I have to smack him on the bum for not wanting to go, because he didn't want to go the other day. But that's a little bit expected on three-year-olds that are sort of staying horses, particularly if they get up to 2,400 metres and they're, um, there's a fair bit of pressure and a fair bit of work. So eventually they start to associate the track with a little bit too much work. So I forgive him for that. So anyway, I've got my stirrup long, so I'm getting on myself. I don't get legged on. Legging on the sugar plum fairy. Alrighty, I'm just got to put my stirrup up. Well yoked. It's going to be good today to get on. That's good. I don't ride him very short, he doesn't pull. Okay, let's go, Yogues. Best behaviour, please, sunshine. Alrighty, he's a cute little horse to sit on. He's not very wide, um, but he's got a nice front on him and he's got a lovely movement about him. And I mean, I don't have to talk him up. We all know how good he's going to be and what he's already done in his little short prep that he had last time. So he's going to come out here and do 800 three quarter. I was going to um, GoPro him earlier in the week, but we had a little bit of a problem with the SD card um, having a bit of a malfunction, so I didn't do it. And um, so he actually did 800 three quarter um, earlier in the week. And um, I'd sort of said to myself, if he comes home and eats, then he can do evens next time. But he didn't eat the next day, not very well. So he's just going to do 800 three quarter again. Um, and it, that's just his constitution a little bit, you know, he's, um, he's a little bit finicky. But, um, you know, everybody involved with him knows that. Well, he's good. He's a bit playful when I got on him yesterday. But uh, I'm feeding him heaps and heaps and heaps, trying to get him as big and strong as I possibly can. And uh, I think he's probably a touch overfed and underworked for where he's at. But that's okay. Just keep my legs on. Come on, Yogs. Come on, buddy boy. And that's good, because the other day I had to give him a couple of smacks across the bum because he didn't want to come out here. So I like that. that make, that makes him pretty honest. Um, if you can give him a bit of a tune up one day and then they pick up the bit and go the next, well then um, they're trying. Morning. Two for me, please, Barry. Come on, Yogi. Come on, Yogs. Good boy. Come on, come on, come on. He's like, they're going home, I'm going home. Well, I'm already very happy with him. Um, like I said, he was a bit naughty the other morning going through the car park. He did not want to go. Come on, Yogs, let's go. Sun in our face. Come on. So I'm going to round him up. Let's see if there's anybody else on the track. Oh, all looks good. Give you a body view of Yogi if you like. There he is. He's getting healthy in the coat and the skin again. Really good moving horse, this. I'm very happy with you, Yogs. There you go, boy. Just let it get him to lower his head. I'd like him to get a little bit longer in the neck. Good boy, that's better. Good boy. Come on, come on. Boy. Most important thing about horses is going forward. Doesn't necessarily mean forward fast, but forward. When you say go, they go. I think a lot of trouble and problems are, as, um, are because of horses that don't go forward. And that's why when I say I had to use the whip on him the other day because he didn't want to go and he was obviously associating the racetrack with hard work. Um, although I didn't work him very hard, um, you know, I was still wanting him to go and he was saying, no, I don't want to go. So I had to give him a couple of big smacks across the bum to say, no, Yogs, you are going. And um, to his credit, he's gone, yep, okay, I'll go. And then today he's just taken me out there like a nice horse. So that's good. 
so he gets a good experience today and um, you know I'm not going to overwork him so he's not going to be doing it tough he's not going to have a bad um, bad thoughts about today that's all about just keeping them happy same you know it's the same old thing really okay yo so I'm going to roll into the canter oh, good boy good boy canter good boy left leg there he is boy let's get a little bridge on him yogi doesn't pull he is just lovely to ride he's pretty special good boy he can drop his head a bit he's a bit crooked see how his head's bent a bit sideways from his body so but i'm going to make him straighten up put a bit of leg on him and i'll show you again when i've got him straight now see how he's straighter yep so that was my leg, my left leg that made him straighten up because he was bowing with his body. All right, Yogs, you're a beautiful boy. You don't need a little narrow horse, but um, he's just special. He's a lot more lively and um, awake this time versus the first time I had him first time I had him he was that laid back I'm thinking oh my gosh is he actually any good but um, he certainly is good and I hope he is Saturday City class for you all that's his shadow for you you can see his head's nice and round he's going to be very happy with him time to keep them straight he likes to travel with his bum to the left and his head to the right so the whole time I'm on him now I'm just playing a little bit with the contact which I know you can't see but I'm just bending him and using my legs to make him stay straight he's a good boy very relaxed very chilled I'm very happy with him for a way out of his work so he's not looking to the gaps to try and go back home or anything like that which is fantastic boy all righty I'm coming up on the thousand I'm just gonna let him roll a little bit so doing 17 seconds of the furlong by the time I get to the eight oh you're a good boy That's all. He's not a horse 
that we want to lose weight is a horse we want to put the weight on because we know he can uh, drop away pretty quickly when he starts to race. It's a fine line between having him too fat really but um, he's not fat, he's far from it. And he's a young horse too. It's the older horses that are a worry, the, the Falagos, who I like to call Fat Largo. They're the harder ones, they need racing to get fit. Whereas these younger horses like this, they've just got natural, natural fitness. Natural, uh, just natural youngness about them, I suppose. Good boy, Yogs. Keep trotting, just trot him out, make sure he hasn't pulled up sore, which he hasn't. That's good, he can stop straight. Nice morning, it's a bit fresh, but it's nice. Come on, Yogs. He wants to turn around, oops. Make sure there's no horses. Boy, so he can turn. He's nicely bent round his turn. Oh dear, Yogs. <coughs> the coughs aren't necessarily that they've got viruses or colds or anything like that. It's just it's summer in Australia and if they live outside in yards like my guys do, it's a little bit dusty at this time of year. So sometimes it's a bit of a dust thing. But you know, I take a mental note that he's had a couple of coughs after his work. And um, you know, I'll, I'll remember it for next time. And if, it's, if, it, if I then think it's uh, an actual problem, I'll do something about it. But um, it doesn't worry me too much today with him. I think it's more just a cleaning a system out. Um, but again, they're all observations that we have to we have to make and we make a mental note of them. So anyway, that's Yogi. He's walking nicely. Good boy, Yogi. He's worked very well. So um, my times are a little bit out. And, and look, to be honest with you, my times aren't are very rarely out. But every time I seem to be GoProing, I seem to be a second out here and there. But um, you know, the times are 17 seconds is based, generally speaking, give or take, is your um, three quarter pace. But some people consider you know, 16 slow, three quarter. Some people, uh, I mean, a faster three quarter, sorry, and a slow evens. And, and some people consider 14 seconds to be evens and, um, and you know, I work on 15 seconds. So, you know, a second's not the end of the world, but um, I'm pretty fussy, so it does disappoint me that I'm, I'm showing up a second out on, on a couple of my furlongs. Um, but anyway, that's okay. So I'll sign off.